From Studio H6A, this is Hoyak High News with Connor Mitchell and Lucy Brennan. Hello and welcome to Hoyak High News. I'm Lucy Brennan. And I'm Connor Mitchell. Coming up on this month's episode, Joe and Grace take a closer look at Remembrance Day. Zoe gets a mouthful at the Rotary Young Chef competition. Ryan brings us all the coverage from a night of celebration at the Top TD Awards. It all starts now. This is Hoyt Kai News. Hello, welcome to this month's edition of Hoikai News. The top TD Awards took place in the Town Hall on Friday the 26th of October. The event is to recognise all the amazing young people in the town and all the fantastic things they have done. Ryan was there to bring all the news from the evening. On Friday the 26th of October, the top TD Awards returned to the Town Hall after six years. Organised by escape youth workers Leon Snowden, the event is to recognise all the amazing young people in the town and all the wonderful things they have done. Fifteen high school people were nominated for an award. The winners from high school were Brogan McIntosh, Hayley Moa, Act One and Marcus Brogan. I spoke to Josh Wilson and two members from Act One. Are you excited that you won? Yeah, yeah. so excited. I can't believe it. it was unreal. And it's really good for Act One. I think it's just amazing. We're just proud of everyone and it's brilliant. So what did you get uh, nominated for? Um, Act One was nominated for the Music and Arts category. And I got nominated for the Unsung Hero Award. How did you feel when you found out you were nominated? Really happy. Like it's just good to see that folk recognise what we do, yeah. how much hard I, work. Like, I was really shocked, but I was also happy at the same time because like, whenever you do something like this, you don't expect anything in return. And then to get like such a good event like this, it's just like really good. And what are your plans for the future? I'm just going to keep on volunteering. Uh, yeah, I've got, so I'm 16 just now, so two more years at one, sticking at it. There were also performances from some talented young people, including Jasmine Davidson, Act One, and Molly Marshall, and a bit of comic relief from David Chapman. I also spoke to Diane, who told me a bit more about the event. The Top TV Awards is an event to recognise young people's achievement across the TV and Lindisdale locality. What's been your favourite part tonight? Uh, I've loved the whole night. Um, all the different young people that were nominated, um, all the winners, all the finalists, it's just been a great event. Um, why did you decide to organise again? We organised it because we're aware of so many young people in the community that are giving up their time, achieving things, extremely talented, so we just wanted to showcase that to the wider community and let everybody see how wonderful our young people are. This has been Ryan Murdy reporting for High News. And done. The Home Economics Department has started up a competition called the Rotary Young Chef Competition. We sent our reporters Zoe and Michael down to ask a few questions about what it's all about. November was a good month for the Home Economics Department as the teachers set up the Rotary Young Chef Competition for S3 to S5s to compete. Pupils were tasked in making a healthy main course and dessert to serve two people. They had a budget of £15 to spend on ingredients to make their delicious courses. There were around 12 pupils involved in this and they had half an hour to set up and one hour 30 minutes to cook. So we spoke to Miss Hill about the competition. So what exactly is going on here today? We've got the Rotary Young Chef competition at Hoi Kai School in the new Home Economics Department. And who's all involved in the competition? We've got um, 11 chefs, a um, mixture of boys and girls between third year and S5. And how long did they get? They get an hour and a half to prepare their main course and dessert and there was some preparation time before that. Zoe also spoke to the winner, Katie Morgan, who made a mouth-watering salmon dish with a rye crumble 
with a side of kale salsa and a tasty banoffee pie in a chocolate cup. So what have you made today? I made a, I made salmon with a rye crumble and a kale salad at the side and then I made a banoffee pie in a chocolate cup. cup. So how did you get into the competition? Um, Miss Hill asked me if I was up for it and I said yeah, sure. And have you enjoyed doing it? Um, yeah, it was quite fun. Got the day off school, so it was good. They've all got on super. I'm absolutely astounded at how well they did. Every single one of them worked so hard and made such a lovely job. Thank you. So do you think the standard of food has been high here today? Yes, very much, very much so. The vegetables they used, the, the chicken, the, it was all lovely food. Thoroughly enjoyed. Now Kitty and the other winner Brooke Gibson will go through to the regional competition and the whole school wishes them the best of luck. This has been Michael Emery reporting for Hike High News. S1 to 3 pupils have been making some poppy art in fabric. To celebrate 100 years after the First World War, they are making some poppies for Remembrance Day and will be in newspapers around Hoyk. Joe and Grace were interested and took a closer look. The fashion department is back on the timetable at Hoyk High School with pupils learning new skills along the way, like learning to sew a button and create artwork. The project brings together a collaboration between developing our young workforce borders and was supported by the local branch of the Royal British Legion. Mrs Moncure, the fabric teacher, has been involved with the kids and took part in the project. We spoke to Mrs Moncure to find out more about what the classes have been up to and where the inspiration came from. Well, I had an idea to do something to do with poppies um, and then I had a meeting with Sarah Ward from Developing Young Workforce and we got chatting about how we could get companies involved and things like that and we have loads of fabrics that companies have donated so it seemed to make sense that we should use all those materials that the companies have so kindly donated. Um, but I wanted to keep it creative as well. Uh, just under 300 pupils um, got the opportunity to take part, but they were all doing different things. They have learned how to apply their skills creatively. They have hopefully all learned a little bit about um, sewing in industry. Um, some of the groups, some of the second year groups, I think, it was, they were given job roles to do, um, so some of them were identified as a manager and then they maybe worked in a group of five and they had to assign somebody to be the quality controller and um, <coughs> someone else would be like sewing, um, cutting, cutting the fabrics, cutting the shapes. Um, so for instance, if the cutter um, was cutting the fabric and there was lots of the fabric lying on the floor, we put that into a real life work situation. Well, if that was lying on the floor in industry, that would cost you money. So they were learning things about how it really does have an implication in the real world. The final textile artwork was displayed in local shops around Hoyt leading up to Armistice Sunday, which took place on the 11th of November. This has been Jory Toyer and Grace Gibb reporting for Hoyt High News. Welcome to the November News in Brief by me, Ewan Welsh. Congratulations to Rory Stanger and Megan Landles, who recently won the Rotary Art Competition. This year, the Faith Department are continuing the shoebox appeal as two pupils gathered to wrap the boxes on the 14th of November. Thanks to all students, staff and parents who contributed to the shoeboxes, 29 were filled and will be sent to those less fortunate. At the end of October, the budding stars of our school took to the stage for our annual theatre production. This year, it was a turn of Disney's Aladdin to get the Hike High School treatment. The performances, both dramatically and musically, were fantastic, and all the young people involved in the production, either on stage or backstage, were great ambassadors for the school. Well done to them all. The Enhanced Provision Group have been hard at work creating a tree made out of recycled bottle tops, which is set to be displayed on their wall outside their department. The project we've made out of bottle tops is trees and that. They do a pretty good job on this project. We've been learning about why we need to recycle plastic. Student council elections have been taking place this week. There are two representatives to be elected from each year. Student representatives will be announced in Assemblies Week commencing 26th of November. Good luck. Now that is up to date with the news. Now back to Conor and Lucy. Well that's it from us this month. 
All that's left for us to say is goodbye and thank you very much for watching. Bye. Bye.